whatever a child is doing is of course play, but a lot of people dismiss play as, oh, it's just play. But that is a child's work. So everything that they play with, they are learning from. My name is Vivian Belmont, and I am the founder of Dream Big Science and Arts. With 200 individual pieces, the Imaginology Kit allows children to explore scientific concepts and artistic creations, all stemming from their imagination. I like how there's a million different things and you can be so creative with it. Countless creations. Like we made a beach um, to make the seaweed. We grabbed the turf and the tongs and we just pulled it. There's a couple different components to this kit. One is the attention, so sustaining focus. It's not flipping and changing. It's like they can really extend their play and expand on their play with all the different products. What if one of these things is A, these, these rocks were B, 2A times 2B equals 4AB. If you look in the Imaginology kit, What's so wonderful about it is that there's absolutely not one line of rules, not one line of instructions. So it's a way of tapping into that vast imagination of children and letting them loose. Also, there's a sensory component to this. There are so many different textures, feelings to different materials. It's hard, it's soft, it's scratchy, it's, it's rough, it's smooth. It's through the senses that we live. One thing playing with you know, stones on a tablet but to hold the stones or hold the wood is, is a very different experience. Things have uh, reactions, change. It changes red. Wetting everything, and she saw that everything was changing colors. And also with the sponge, she noticed that it got heavier. If you look at what they're discovering, you can see it's based in science. When things roll down a ramp or when things dissolve or melt, it's, it's all science. And it helps them with self-esteem because they get to feel empowered. I, look what I just did, look what I created. Find out what they're capable of and get lost in the worlds that they, they create. Imagination, for most of my life, I thought I had none. <laughs> the uh, academic world that I grew up in did not support imagination at all. And I thought that the only thing I could do was do what everybody else did. So that's why it's so important for me to really support the development of imagination because I feel, I know everybody's got one, but not everybody believes they have one, and it's really important for survival, you know, to, to know you have one, because it can get you out of a pickle <laughs> uh, at, at, at worst, and, you know, uh, create incredible discoveries at best. 